Alrighty, Sim Racers, Larry TJ, our Sim here, and I'm not going to put me in the picture besides my hand and the knife, but we got something here to unbox here real quick. Just going to do a quick unboxing of a new, some new toys I got. You can, uh, here, I'll tease you some of those new tool, toys. If you're interested in getting some of these toys and you want to support the channel, please feel free to use my tree links in the description below. Help the channel out. So, what we got here... And I haven't seen anything yet. I'm just going to unbox it, pull them out here. I don't know what this is. Just a safety cardboard. And we got some hardware. Oh, that gives it away what this is. <laughs> GT Neo. Some hardware in the box or soft cushiony stuff. Anyway, Apex Racing is the one that sells a lot of this stuff. There's another one called uh, Sim Shop. I'm not an affiliate with Sim Shop, but I have bought from them and they're a great group of people. They're in Dallas. But uh, Apex is also another great group of people and that i do have an affiliate for so if you are interested in some of this sim magic stuff if i can actually get it out of the box check them out if not it don't matter good lord this is why you do an unboxing once it's already out of the box good lord come on there we go we're gonna check this out sim magic alpha u it comes here i think i roughened up the box myself here actually that's my fault but oh well you're open what surprises inside and the stickers the box could have definitely used some more tape so what we got here inside sim magic keep official keep racing official sim equipment just some more stickers 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 let's just get to the main event i'm not going to tease you like every other channel does well this bad boy's a little heavy hunter comes in a nice see-through blouse the way i like it nice so it already comes pre-installed with the stickers. These look so much bigger on camera when you look at other people's reviews, right? So this is version three, V3. So this is interesting. So this says, in, in focus there, V3, where you see at the top up here. And if you look at the website, they only have instructions for V1 and V2. So I was looking at getting a cover for this as well and uh just to spruce it up a little bit make it my own and it asks for you know do you have version v1 or v2 so not totally paying attention to the system i did uh, all the updates that they've been having just improving their products did a reddit search and uh, everybody talked about v3 but they talked about it with the the uh, mini so i was like oh surely this is going to be a v2 but no it's a v3 so if you're interested in knowing v3 is out and greatest this looks like a much bigger power supply than what i've seen before in other videos it looks like a little light right there so cool nice big one this is a 360 watt so 50 60 hertz six max ohms blah 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 you can read it oops there you go stamp a picture anyway nice long cord plugs into the base right there to be of course to your pc on this side you got the CAN bus, and then uh, this is the e-stop right here. Now, interestingly, since y'all seen my review, or hopefully you seen my review on the SimMagic Q1 shifter, the sequential shifter, I can now plug this shifter into here, and it will read correctly the gear shifts now. So instead of you always having to hit the neutral button to go back to neutral, or when you're rolling through the gears, or you went through six gears, but the car you're in are only at five speed, it'll now register correctly for the game. Anyway, this is pretty damn heavy, man. I like it. Nice carbon fiber. I'm sure y'all have seen this a lot. This is the first time I've seen it, and it is pretty nice. I really like it. Let's just say slight markings on the surface are normal. Blah. So, there's where you plug your wheel in. Set that aside. All right. So, look at this. No power, but it lights up green. That was something I saw in earlier reviews, because you're, you're running something across those coils. You can feel the coils, by the way. When I go across here, I feel the indentation of the of the magnets, rather. There's a magnet, 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 magnet. So I hope that it is smoother than I feel right now. That is rough. But I'm sure it's smoother once you get going. Once everything's magnetized, that is. All right. You have this type of cord here, on-off switch here. Plugs in, of course, your wall, other end to your power supply. Easy peasy. I actually like these. My AccuForce has this as well. Really like it. I just run it up to the side of my rig. I don't have to reach behind the wheelbase or anything. If it was on the front of the wheelbase, that would be fine, but you can also tell it's not a whole lot of space here, right? So keep it minimal. Uh, this is going to be really nice for low coverage. I'll be able to raise my, 
my wheel deck up a little bit higher now with this one compared to the uh, Logitech that I've been reviewing. But I'll probably leave it the same because I did order a little uh, bracket with it too. That should be somewhere in here. Or, oh, I think it's right here actually. Little side brackets uh, to angle, adjust the angle. Because the idea is I want to be able to switch back and forth when I get a hankering for Gran Turismo use my Logitech Pro Wheel. And then when I want to play, I mostly play P PC games, right? Uh, PC sim racing. So this will probably be the, the main show for now. And then when I get the hankering for the Gran Turismo with the motion, then I'll slap that on. I'll probably actually use the same Pro pedals for now too as well. But I'll give you my impressions of all that, how everything's working. Normal cable, I already said this. Power switch, key cable of course, some hardware normal stuff long bolts as well with the t-nuts in there so really good i love how sim magic does this stuff as far as uh giving you all the stuff you need even hardware look at this little, cute little stop button nice and roll off just like a regular industrial stop button but it looks a lot nicer pretty nice there's your uh tent what is the 45 jack for that got little lights on it looks like this is pretty nice looking i like this Stick this on the rig of course all right, so that's it of the wheel base. Let's move on. It just real quick, I'm gonna show you the brackets here that, that, that are ordered separately. Nice, nice aluminum brackets. They're actually done up really nice. I really like this. So you got the label left and right, and this might be labeled left and right. Now it's universal. Well, it can only go one way, left, right. But anyway, very nice uh, brackets. Gonna put them on the side here so I can adjust the angle of the wheel base separately. Hopefully I have the holes on my uh, wheel deck to manage that. If not, I'll run without it for a while until I drill some holes. But, and then of course the hardware comes with that as well. All right, so let's jump into the Neo, GT Neo here. Oops, got a straight line. Now the reason I got this particular combo, because I really want it, what I really wanted was the FX Pro. But I really didn't want to spend the money for the FX Pro. <laughs> so, but uh, even though you do get a slight discount when you buy them together, but I thought that this was going to be the most common setup for people that are getting into Tim Magic as far as their wheelbase goes. You're either going to get the Mini, and uh, and then maybe you'll spring for the uh, Pro or something like that, or a round rim or something like that. But if you're into GT racing, you'll most likely get this combo because, and another reason I got this combo, is that you can get the extra ice that plugs onto the back of this and use it on any wheel. In the future, I plan on checking out Asetek as well. I would have got it first, but I was really hankering to work my way up the line, so to speak. To me, I think that just from what I've seen, where my knife go? From what I've seen, uh, it's nice, it's sealed, sealed for approval. Uh, the other one wasn't, but this was. From what I've seen, that's pretty much the top of the line as far as it goes. Nice boxing though, by the way. Really like the, the graphics on here. It looks really sweet. Like, this is a box you wouldn't mind setting out and displaying if you're a nerd like that. All right, got the uh, button showing here a little bit. A little teaser, throw that away. Grab the wheel. It's got a good weight to it, I like it. Not bad, it comes with its own uh, see-through bra here. Take that away, it's pretty cool. This feel, and this is like the first thing you do. Nice, actually they're kind of positioned actually just right for me. And maybe I could pull it out a little bit, but pull it out just a little bit. Got pretty long fingers though, but I think I'll pull it out just a little bit. But there is some adjustment here, as well as you can see where you can slide these out. Of course, Magnet paddle shifters as well. You got your clutches here. Actually, a really good tension on these clutches as well. Nice forged carbon look. It's a composite on this wheel. Oh, my camera's actually facing the other way. Nice composite on the wheel. Looks really nice. I like it. These feel good. Nice indentations. First impression of this is I kind of wish these spoke came out a little bit further. But in practice, I think this is better because... A lot of times when you're getting crazy with the wheel and trying to catch slides, I tend to hit these. <laughs> so being that it is recessed just a tad, so you can see how that is, just a tad, or actually it's with this curvature here, kind of protecting it. That's actually pretty good because you're not gonna most likely bump it. They're not too light and they're not too heavy. Definitely a very good indentation as you roll through here. The buttons now, nice. Seem uh, nice and tight as well. They don't. They wiggle, yeah, it's just slight. And then two-way hat switches or the funky switches. Those work good. Nice tactile feel. Oh, that feels nice. The first time seeing this in person, obviously, but I like it. I love how everything lights up on here. 
I love the quick change on here. Now I'm a, if you follow my channel, you know I run AccuForce as well. So very, very similar to AccuForce. In fact, I'll get that wheel. Here's my cube controls wheel comparison. Oh, there's paperwork down there, who cares, right? That'll just be the uh, cord for this to be able to plug in, uh, to have this plug into the computer right here. It's got a USB-C that you plug in the computer. Everybody I see talks about this being for your firmware update. Uh, if you actually go to their website, they actually say plug this into the into the base and it'll auto auto update, right? But I digress. Weight wise, now this is with the B, BG shifter. This is a little bit more counterweight heavy, right? Uh, than this one. This is a lot more compact. This is a lighter wheel, of course, than this setup. But size wise, just to see, they're pretty damn close. Look at that. Really close. Put them on top of each other. See what that looks like. Yeah, 300 mil. So this is the Cube Control Pro. Uh, this is my favorite rim. As you can tell, I've used this forever. Really like this wheel. The only problem I've ever had with this wheel is this is returning a little slow compared to this one. Maybe put a little WD-40 right there and fix it, right? But every once in a while it'll hang and I'd push it this way. Anyway, uh, really good. But what I like is that I can use this wheel on here as well. At least that's the hope. Let's see. Good. Bounce right up. Boom. So. If you're wondering if your AccuForce wheels work with uh, Sim Magic, yes, they do. And I almost dropped that. Good lordy. Uh, yes, they do, right? There you go. So, you know, if you have the AccuForce connection, the B BG uh, connection, which is my favorite disconnect uh, type of connection, works just fine. So, that means my rally rim that I have is just, which is a regular old rally rim, all the electronics taken off. I already have that. So, I'm able to utilize some rims that I have. Now you may wonder, oh, I get the other Neo. Well, because it looks pretty. That's why. <laughs> it lights up. This one doesn't light up. Well, it does light up actually here. Here, these buttons light up. But this is, I wanted to see how all the electronics work with this. I think it'd be a better review, being able to review Neo or an actual Sim Magic uh, product with the wheelbase as opposed to just here. But I will put them side by side and, and look at What's the difference between these all here? And as you can see, it just disconnects just as easy peasy. Also, I wouldn't have to use the cord, right? Uh, with with this one, because obviously it goes through Bluetooth. Wireless, rather. Is it Bluetooth? Let's we'll see. Anyway, snaps in. Nice, nice extension. You can tell this one actually stuck out just a, a tad more. This one, the uh, cube would stick out a tad more. All right, so that's it. Enough unboxing here. I'll throw up a, a side by side of this this wheel here and the Logitech and my uh, my uh, AccuForce actually. While I'm talking now, I'll go ahead and throw my AccuForce up here right now. My Logitech is still mounted on the rig, so I'll have to spend a little bit of time unmounting that. But you can tell the, tell the difference. This looks like a turtle from up here. <laughs> the AccuForce I think is a really good looking wheel. Now end to end, the AccuForce is actually a shorter setup. All right. About an inch, it looks like, by the time you end, end of the end of this uh, this QR here. Turn it up. Let's get apples to apples here. Pull that aside. Not to dent up the box too much. A little bit shorter. About these rings shorter. So half an inch, or about an inch actually shorter. A good inch shorter. The whole full range of the AccuForce is. Of course, this is much more powerful. This is 13 newton meters, peaks at 16. And then, and then of course, the Sim Magic the U is, what, 23. And then, I don't know what the running torque is. Mounting system is much more robust on on the Sim Magic compared to these four bolts that you use for the AccuForce, which I never did a little pain to get in. But once you're mounted, you're not really going to unmount it. But this one has all all kind of options that I really like because you can front mount. If you get the uh, front mount set up for you can do that. Of course, you can mount it from the sides. But the brackets that I got here, or you can bottom bottom mount it to any Fanatec bolt pattern. So they really did their homework with that. I'm grunting a little bit because this is actually kind of heavy, but uh, really good, good heaviness. It's a good, I don't have a scale here, but it's about the same as heaviness as this AccuForce. Just packaged in slightly, a little bit heavier than this AccuForce actually. About a couple pounds it feels like. Anyway, that's it. I'll throw up the, uh, the uh, Logitech here real quick and then we'll end the video.